Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be sharing a story with you. The movie starts off with a frightened flight attendant named Jessica on a flying plane. She tries to find the captain, but to her horror, she sees no one around. After walking through the cabins, she finally finds one of her fellow colleagues, Charles, at the end of an aisle. She calls out to him, but he suddenly opens the emergency door and jumps out of it. The pressure of the empty plane changes and sucks everything out, including Jessica. It is then revealed that Jessica was just having a nightmare while on on the way to work with her fellow flight attendant colleagues. They soon reach the airport and make their way to the plane. They then pass the security scanners and leaves with no problems. However, a wealthy couple behind them gets stopped for having a Swiss army knife in their bag. This causes the rich couple to get mad and they argue with the security staff. The movie then shows us some of the passengers who are going to be on board of the flight. A blind lady with her daughter, a strange man who is acting all suspicious, placing something in the small girl's bag, and a group of three friends going for a holiday. Soon the plane staff board the plane, and we learn that Charles is the captain, and had used to date Jessica. As Charles and his co-pilot get the plane ready, the passengers start boarding. Charles then welcomes the passengers on board and tells them that this is the last time their company, Ocean Airlines, will be flying this route, and that this is the last flight ever. The plane will be taking off from Goodluck Island. The plane soon gets ready to take off and head off to Singapore. As the plane is taking off, the blind lady suddenly gets up and starts telling everyone that they shouldn't be on this plane. Jessica and her colleagues quickly go to calm her down. After they do so, one of the flight attendants, named Sarah, sees a passenger named Dan using his phone while taking off. She tells him to turn his phone off, but he asks her to do it for him instead. While she does, she sees his text conversation with a woman. She ignores it turns off the phone, and leaves. Suddenly, the plane starts experiencing some turbulence, so Jessica goes to the cockpit to ask if anything's wrong. However, Charles tells her everything is fine and asks her to go back to the aisles and do her job. Looks like someone isn't in a good mood today. In the aisle, the suspicious man from earlier can be seen anxious as he constantly stares at the little girl's backpack. Suddenly, the bag moves. The scene then changes to Dan, who begins to get restless and decide to explore the plane. As he explores, he realizes that the plane only has 9 passengers on board. He then finds Sarah making some drinks and start flirting with her. The two then start holding hands in the bathroom. After they are done, Dan leaves but bumps into his friend's girlfriend, Maggie. Afraid she would find out about his dirty deed, he distracts her by bringing her to a seat to talk about their relationship. Turns out, Dan is having an affair with Maggie and is asking her to break up with his friend Tom so they can be together. However, she tells him that she needs more time. This causes Dan to be upset, so Maggie leaves and returns to Tom, her boyfriend. While preparing the passengers' meals, Jessica finds a meal already opened and eaten. Suddenly, one of the cabinets moves and shoots out by itself, almost hitting Jessica. She then hears music coming from outside and goes to check. She gets a shock when the little girl, whose name is Katie, pops out of the seat but relieved that it's just a child, she carries Katie back to her seat. After she does, one of the passengers scream in horror after finding Sarah unalive on the floor. Jessica sees this and immediately informs the other plane crew members. Soon, the passengers start getting suspicious of Dan as someone saw him with Sarah right before she had passed away. Charles controls the situation by telling the passengers that no one is allowed to enter the crime scene and everyone is to remain in this aisle for the remainder of the flight. However, Jessica finds out that Tom is a doctor, so she disobeys Charles' instruction and takes him to examine Sarah's body. Tom tells her that Sarah has scratch wounds, which means she had been murdered by some kind of animal. But he also tells her that there are poison found in her wounds too, which doesn't make sense, as there is no animal that huge with that much poisonous venom. The two quickly inform Charles what they had found, but as they do, the rich man overheard their conversation and starts telling everyone about the rumored murderous animal on the plane. This causes everyone to be frightened, but Charles controls the situation once again and asks the rich man to go back to his seat. Suddenly, the lights go out, so just Jessica volunteers to go check it out. As she is checking the power grid, Tom appears and scares her. Both of them then start checking out the grid together. They soon hear a noise and finds the co-pilot murdered on the ground. 
so they quickly go to Charles and inform him of another murder. Charles calls the control station at Singapore to seek their advice, but they tell them that there's nothing they can do except to quickly land in the country to seek help. Tom tells the captain that they should inform the passengers of what is going on, but Charles refuses as he doesn't want to create a panic. Just then, the rich man who is alone in the first class aisle with his wife decide to go to the bathroom. He leaves his wife, who is drunk, alone, but not long his wife comes out of the aisle covered in Everyone rushes to her, but find her poisoned and attacked, the same way as how Sarah was murdered. The suspicious man then goes to take Katie's bag and starts rummaging through it. Unable to find his item, he asks her where his package is. Jessica and another passenger immediately stops him and asks him what he is trying to find. This is when the man reveals to them that he had found an unalive animal on the island and had brought it on the plane. Why would anyone bring an unalive animal on a plane anyways? The rich man hears this and gets mad so he starts beating him up. He drags him to his wife and shows him what he has done. The rich man then throws him aside, but just then, Dan, who is also mad, attacks the suspicious man. Tom tries to stop him, but Dan soon reveals that he had been sleeping with his girlfriend. This breaks Tom's heart, but just then, they hear a noise. So feeling guilty for bringing the creature on board, the suspicious man decides to go and fight the mysterious monster, but he easily gets knocked out. Just then, one of the passengers go to help him, but she gets attacked by the creature too. Moments later, the suspicious man wakes up and carries the other passenger down to safety. Everyone goes to attend their wounds. Later, Maggie goes to find Tom and asks him to forgive her, but he tells her that they would think of how to survive on this plane instead and leaves. Suddenly, the plane flies through a heavy storm and causes everyone to fall out of their seats. But fortunately, Charles managed to stabilize the plane. However, their problems are not over as they soon learned that the blind lady had been attacked by the creature while the plane was in mayhem. Charles then received some news about the creature from the control station. It turns out there were many similar plane incidents the past months, where they had also experienced strange monster attacks, which is why the company wanted to end the flights traveling to Good Luck Island. The the captain then tells everyone to head upstairs to the first class aisle as he is going to try to turn up the heat in hopes to murder the mysterious creature with it. Everyone start heading up, but the suspicious man and the female passenger decides to stay as they are unable to move much with their wounds. At the top aisle, everyone barricades the door to ensure their safety. The creature soon finds the suspicious man and the female passenger in the bathroom, so the man pushes the girl out and sacrifices himself to the monster. The female passenger then goes to find the rest at the top, so they quickly open up their barricades for the female passenger to come inside. Why did she just follow them in the first place? Surprising, the suspicious man manages to survive and enters the top aisle too. The others try to find some water for the injured passengers, but they realize that the rich man had taken all the water away for his wife. This causes a fight to break out between the rich man and the suspicious man, but the man ends up getting murdered by the rich man. Suddenly, the plane goes into major turbulence and the rich man gets impatient and asks the captain to land immediately. But Charles tells him that the storm is too heavy and he isn't at Singapore yet, so it isn't safe to land. But the rich man ignores him and asks Jessica to get him and his wife parachutes. As he's about to open the emergency door to jump out, everyone goes to stop him. While in the midst of fighting him, the rich man suddenly gets murdered by the weird creature's tentacles. The rich man's wife goes to her husband, but she too gets taken away by the creature. This scares everyone so they quickly leave the area. They all decide to hide inside the cockpit with Charles still flying the plane. Moments later, they hear noises outside, so Jessica, Tom, and Dan decide to head outside to end the monster once and for all. They gather as many weapons as they can and wait for the monster to come out. But to their surprise, a black cat comes out instead. But the cat isn't as innocent as it seems, as it immediately attacks them with claws. Soon, all of them get into a battle with the cat creature. Unfortunately, Dan gets murdered by it, and the cat runs away. It then goes to find the others in the cockpit, so Charles leaves his seat to go to stop it. But unfortunately, he gets attacked by the cat. Although injured, he continues his fight with the creature by walking to the aisle to find it. Elsewhere, Jessica and Tom lures the cat with a toy, but just when they are about to attack it, Charles shows up with a parachute and opens up the emergency door. The pressure sucks both the cat and him out of the plane, but luckily, Charles hangs onto the rope in the plane. Jessica tries to pull him in, 
but they soon realized that the cat had clinged onto Charles' leg. So with no choice, Charles sacrifices himself and lets go of the rope, throwing both of them into the plane's turbine engines, finally destroying the evil cat creature. Jessica quickly goes to the cockpit to try to land the plane. Although an extremely bumpy landing, she successfully lands the plane in Singapore, thus saving the remaining passengers' lives. In the next scene, everyone can be seen getting attended to by the paramedics, and the movie ends with the black cat emerging out from Katie's bag. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss our next video.